Welcome back everybody to the P2 Arrow Rans S21 build series. Today I'll be wrapping up the last of the little details that I need to get done prior to installing the belly skin for good. I have the fuselage upside down for this and it sure makes things a lot more accessible. I started with cutting down the tube section into eight spacers that I need for the sliding seat tracks. Once I had those cleaned up, I laid out all the tracks and drilled the pilot holes using the track pieces as my guide. After removing the aluminum parts, I upsized the holes to accept the rivet nut inserts. Like every other step along the way, I've researched the process prior to attempting it myself. I start by reviewing the text, the parts, and the figures manuals, and then jump onto the RANS website and look at the build photos to make sure that I have my head wrapped around it. If I still have a question, I'll shoot a message over to RANS or other builders via social media or forum sites like RANS Clan or the many Facebook groups out there. These are all great builder resources, and I've found them to be very helpful when making decisions along the way. And as I've stated before, this is my first build, and so I never intended these videos to be a how-to series. It's more of a how I interpret it kind of thing. This will be more important than ever moving forward as we get into the firewall forward section and the electrical system. There's many ways to do things and I'm sure everything I do won't be conceived as correct or smart by everyone. The only thing I ask is for viewers to keep it civil and professional. Constructive criticism is always welcome and leads to healthy debate and I look forward to those conversations in the comments section. I already had a rivnut tool in the garage from another project, and I had planned to use it all along until I realized that I don't have a 1032 mandrel for it. Rands outlines a process to do this without a fancy tool, and that's what you'll see me do here instead. I also noticed that these inserts have a small keyway under the lip for what I assume is an anti-rotation mechanism. Ignore the nice close-up of my finger in the frame here, but you can see how they won't sit flush. I decided to file a small slot on each hole to allow this lip to sit flush on the square tubing. I also figure using some retention compound would help eliminate future issues with these spinning inside their holes.
I did use some thread locker on these fasteners, since there isn't any other retention means present. In the end, all the brackets are in line with each other, and they're well centered on the square tubing. This wraps up the little things, and I did go ahead and install the belly skin, although I didn't include that here, since you've seen me put in enough rivets at this point. This is kind of a bittersweet timestamp on the build process, since I'm really to the end of the kit steps that I have on hand. The fuselage is to the point where it could be painted and the gear could go on. I plan to do a vinyl wrap on mine, so that won't be happening yet, and I'll be moving on to the electrical and engine installation. Progress may be a bit slower, as I don't have all of these things on hand, and I don't have the funds to order it all at once to keep things on track. I refuse to finance toys, and I've managed to cash flow this project so far. I don't even have the finish kits or wing kits on order. There will be a significant delay when that time comes. In the meantime, I'll keep content flowing with the intricacies involved in subsystem design and installation. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.